Just on a general spiritual level, bitterness can never be the fruit of the Holy Ghost. You know, it's got to be go. peace. Amen. It's got to be peace. And so if what's happening is that uh, the entire uh, spirit that you're developing is one of bitterness, then you have to step back and say there's something wrong there. Despair is under no circumstances what it is to be uh, anything to be to be cultivated in, in these days. Um, the, um, the, 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 the whole vision globally of what's happening has to be taken into account, as, as, as difficult as that is. And there is an easier way to deal with these problems today than there was certainly when I started in this movement in the 1970s. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have the ability to communicate with one another uh, readily uh, as people do now. Uh, there's much, much greater access to a knowledge of what's happening uh, in dioceses around the country and around the world in a way to give the one clear, clear hope about the fact that if there are problems locally right at the moment, that they um, they will be overcome um, in the future. Uh, it's uh, one of the things that I thought, um, not just with respect to church issues, but other issues about the um, the 20th century as a whole, was that it seemed to me that one of the virtues that uh, people in the 20th century had to develop perhaps more than people ever before was uh, uh, the, the virtue of, of, of understanding the humor um, in the midst of all of the despair um, that the, uh, the, the 20th century dumped uh, into people's laps uh, uh, a plenty uh, because of the fact that uh, it's always necessary to be able to see that human aspirations are defeated by human failings no matter what age it is that that you live in, um, but but again, in particular, uh, there was I think uh, and this, there is I think a necessity for people who are suffering right at the moment to just uh, put it in a little perspective and see that uh, what those of us who had to endure the first assault on the traditional order of things in uh, the 1960s and 70s in the church had to put up with was worse than this. And it's it's necessary to uh, use that as a um, as a means of being able to bolster your spirits. Now, um, it's this this what we're going through right now is 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 a passing phenomenon. What I would urge them to do uh, is to, uh, especially since with these tools of the internet and even in local areas where people are deprived uh, of, of 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 a large number of uh, of of um, uh, fellow travelers here. Uh, what they've got to do more than ever before is cultivate friendship with one another. Um, love the brotherhood. Yes, you know, love, love the brotherhood. The, love the, fear God, love the brotherhood, cultivate the brotherhood. Because, because all of us are in need of, of sound, sound, um, uh, humor, good humored, uh, militant friendship in these days. I would say um, obey the king. As well, if we want to continue the biblical reference here, except that unfortunately we don't have much in the way of models, but I do see one behind you in your library on the oh, wall yes, right yes. now. Uh, on the wall right now, and um, and uh, uh, the, the the memory and the model of these people is something also, and the suffering of these people is something also that I think is a a, a good good um, tool for people who are suffering uh, the more immediate uh, difficulties of, uh, of, of spiritual support as well. 